everybody, welcome to Sip and brought to you by Duncan. I'm Lauren Screeden here with Tyreek Stevenson. How are you? I'm all right. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. This is late in the season, but the first time we got to sit down and do this. Can you believe that your rookie year is winding down? No. I still can't believe I'm a rip. <laughs> I still can't believe everything that's happened. And it's happening. Like, I'm just so, I'm a shock and on to the end with this. Well, you got a lot of fans out there. What would you say is the biggest difference from when you started this year to now? Just this team, just becoming like, like this, I always say this is like the first team where I've been a part of everybody, you know, it's a dog I and mean, it's kind of creating a brotherhood and everybody's believing. So I always say just seeing this team sticking together at the end of like overcome a lot of obstacles. You know, Do you feel like personally you've changed? Yeah, yeah, I definitely. <laughs> I became a lot a little self-reflection here at the end of the year. I became a lot more uh, aware of things uh, with everything that's going on from financial to football mm -hmm. to, to living to every day. So I became a lot more aware of myself and my surroundings. And oh, we, I would just say I, 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 I have grabbed a lot of patience. <laughs> oh, that's good. I grabbed a lot of patience. I need to work on just, that. Being able to to understand that I'm in a tough position mm -hmm. and just understanding that I still have room to grow and there's always room to grow. So definitely taught myself patience. You said in a Vanity Fair thing in the spring that in terms of your style and your outfits and your game day look, you would just keep it simple. It would be like black pants and a white top. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's not the case anymore. We went very far from the just black pants and a white top. I remember, yeah. So, yeah. So, so what, like, that's a big difference. Oh, yeah. who are we blaming? You like Kyle Gordon. Okay. You like well, Kyle. Because he, uh, he was like, you know, man, you're a professional athlete. You know, treat yourself like white. Well. I was like, <laughs> you can, maybe I can spice things up a little bit. And when I, when, when I kind of get a fashion ideal, I see something I like, he's the first person I call. I'd be like, look, he'd be, yeah, yeah that's nice, you know? I'd be like, should I get it? He'd be like, you do what you want. Well, I'm like, well, you gave me the advice, you know? Yeah, you so, planted this seed, yeah. so. So, uh, definitely blaming Kyler, but uh, my style is definitely increased a lot. Like you said, he said something very important. Like, you're a professional, you should start taking care of yourself. You should start dressing like you should start, you know, uh, giving the world who you are as a professional. What would you say is your favorite fashion item or look this season? Say a lot of hoodies. It's cold. It is cold. I know. How are you adjusting to the cold? Oh You're Florida, right? Yes. Oh. Are we used to it? No. I don't mean to be like this, so you ain't seen nothing no. yet. No. It's going to be like 60 on Christmas. That's, that's, that's cold. That is so warm here, my guy. No. Oh, my god. That cannot be warm. That cannot be warm. <sighs> my sister called me the other day. It was 67 in my hand. She was. Shivering. Yeah, that's yeah really she was cool. shivering. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it's 32 up here. You no, know, we can switch. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. You've emerged as quite a playmaker, especially with that diving interception in last week's game. I know you're smiling thinking about it. That one felt good, right? It felt good, but I was smiling because yeah. I don't remember it. Yeah. I Why? don't remember that play. All I remember is like breaking towards the ball, yeah. hitting tackle. Like, I don't remember anything that happened in the team. Well, I love your mom's reaction. What did she do? Oh my God, I had 30 missed calls. 30. 30 missed calls. <laughs> and she just kept repeating, Hi, Reese Stevenson with the second interception. <laughs> she just kept repeating it over and over and over. Just, that, that, was, that, was, that was the best part I ever I love time. it. That's awesome. Uh, are you going to see her on Christmas? Um, yeah. They, they, uh, my twin sisters just got here yesterday. Uh, one of my other little sisters coming and they just gonna be staggering in because of working everything. Yeah, what are your plans? Um, just maybe a dinner. Oh, taking them out to let, um, letting them enjoy the city as much as I can. You know, I haven't been in the city just like as a regular person yet. So maybe just go out and have fun with them and just go to a couple of restaurants. Yeah, that'd be great. Are you a big Christmas guy? Do you guys do Christmas up big or just no. spending time together? Just spending time together. Yeah. That was all. That's that's what Christmas always meant to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I had spent the last maybe two, or three Christmas away for the bowl games and everything mm -hmm. in Chicago. So uh, just if I can have any time with them, especially on Christmas, and I have nieces and nephews now, so it's just passing the happiness that's from us. Fun. to them. Yeah. Um, 
DJ Moore on the camp cam called you a Grinch. This the, this hey. the Grinch in real life. Hey, he's ugly. <laughs> he's he ugly. ugly. Why? You also said that at the camp cam when he said that. Is he ugly? He just ugly. Why would he call you a Grinch? Mm -hmm. You couldn't finish the lyrics? Was that it? Oh. It's like dashing through the snow, something like that. I'm DJ Moore. I know. He's Page on which, everybody. Which you could really speak to that one if you'd like. Hey, DJ. <laughs> Who was you, my guy? <laughs> now, how I love DJ. I told him today, I was like, oh, I know. I know you're still ugly, but thank you for uh, you know making it better. This I appreciate it. Did he get you a Christmas gift? No. Maybe he's a Grinch. No. Did you guys do team gifts? Oh, uh, so we have something tomorrow. Um... <laughs> so we have an event tomorrow, uh, and we have to get a gift. What are you gonna get? I don't know. It's tomorrow. Right? It's just for one person, right? Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah, it's like so, a secret Santa yeah. situation. Yeah, but I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, I'm a horrible gift giver. I grew up with sisters, so. Oh, yeah. I know how to grab stuff for females. Sure. So, yeah, so I don't know how to grab anything for another male, so. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Just, you should call your sisters and ask what to. Oh, when I'm here, I'm up from the drag out of the house. She like it's cold. She got my house on 76. I walked out, I'm like, yo, this is Sonny here. Like, you have to relax. <laughs> She like, man, she like, I can't do it. I'm like, yeah, you have to relax. Like, I have to sleep in here. Yeah, you can't sleep in that hot? No way. No way. Uh, what's the best Christmas gift you've ever gotten? Um, I would say maybe I was 12 or 13. I, had, I got my first Moss and Trope. Oh, that's cool. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Only day I wanted on this. Yeah. Maybe your teammate will appreciate that. <laughs> you could get a one of those. Yeah. Or get them like a thousand of those. It didn't, it didn't last too long though. Yeah. My twin who um, is here now, she she decided to uh, run over a bike. Oh, brutal. He then it stopped working, so oh, I only no. had this one for two days. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. I forget really. Wait, do you guys have like that twin thing going on? You have like the, you know what each other's thinking kind of thing? Some almost like we, I, I have days where like I feel bad or like sad yeah. for some reason and I call her I'm like what's wrong she's like I'm just so frustrated I'm like yo you gotta stop that I, I yeah you're like bringing my yeah, energy I, down I, mean, I feel that she, she does it she does it as well like um probably earlier in the season where I was more having my ups and downs mm -hmm. really playing and figuring out the game and every day she just called me randomly but like I feel something was wrong I'm, 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 I'm frustrated and I'm yeah. tired I'm kind of you know lacking confidence and she like I knew it <laughs> she like I knew it so uh, we, we kind of have those moments. Yeah. Well, we should have brought her in here, had her on the couch, gotten to know some real information. Yeah, she next time. Much. Right, we love that. Uh, next time on Sippin' with Screen. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Good luck on Sunday. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for that. Thank you.